44 past 6. Good morning. Not even going to bother this morning. It's cloudy. Well, it's not cold, but it's cloudy. But I want to talk about compressor and Final Cut Pro. In particular, rendering times on an iMac. So I've got projects here. You know CreatorCast. CreatorCast is uh, the panel discussion group that I have on YouTube, the secondary channel. And I've got a project here. We've got, it goes for 25 minutes. Here's the project here. It's the latest version. It's the latest issue, issue episode. It's got a um, compound clip here, which if I open it up, it's the four tracks, each one of us. So that's each one of us talking on um, our different Skype chats. And then if you went in a little bit and had a look, there's all individual edits on the audio uh, in there. And of course, at the front of the project, if I go back out of the comp out of the um, out of the compound clip and have a look at the start of the project, there is um, there is all of our um, what am I trying to say? There's there's these animations at the start. Oops, I turned the one of the down. hosts from Hayward Top. Anyway, the question, the, the comment and the question I have, once I bump this out into compressor, I'm getting really, really, really long times to compress. So this has finished. I've done it overnight. If you have a look here, if I can get a focus on the GH5, thank you very much. No, whoop, hello. Successful compression, all these successful ones, but let's go in and have a look at how long they've taken. If I go into here, five hours and 23 minutes to, to render out at 4K, 30 frames. Um, this, is, this is the internal setting to bump out to YouTube. So that's, so that's the settings that Compressor um, give you to just bump out a file to YouTube. So to, to compress a 20, what was a 24 minute clip out, took me five hours and 23 minutes. That's hectic. The, end, the estimated file size was, or the final file size was 3.9 gig. Now, where I'm going with this, there's a new iMac Pro on the market. Will an iMac Pro assist me in doing this faster? Currently, I have an iMac. Let's have a look. I have this, I, oh, this, okay, I can't zoom in too quick there. Um, uh, four gigahertz Intel Core i7. So this is a late 2014 model, which is quite, quite specced up. I have um, 32 gig of RAM. And it's going, I mean, it's a great machine. Don't get me wrong, I'm really, really digging it. Everything's fine, but have a look what's on the Apple Store. The iMac Pro, the only, the only problem I've got there is the cost of these. Minimum spend there of $7,300. I mean, come on. Seven grand for an iMac Pro. And the question is, which one should I get? If I'm going to be doing Mostly, because this is all I'm doing pretty much on this machine. I mean, I do a little bit of music production, but not much. If I'm going to be doing this kind of thing, will an iMac Pro benefit me? And how much will it work by? Because that is an awful amount of money to spend to render out things faster. Like the 